talked about fires earlier. Dan, what's happening outside with the weather? Well, right now the winds continue to blow, but they are coming down and we expect that to happen once the sun sets. What we have is a decoupling of the winds in the upper atmosphere and the winds on the ground. We had a weak cool front come by and a shallow cold front. That means the winds will diminish overnight, but not for the folks in parts of the Mexican coastline. As we go to our hurricane tracker, we are going to find out that there is a hurricane. It's called Carlotta and it's sitting right here. Here's Acapulco, south of Acapulco. It is a category one, but just about two hours ago is a category two. It's still barely offshore. Well, Carlotta is moving very, very slowly to the north northwest and will likely make land. But there are some high mountains here in Oaxaca and the Chiapas area. And so watch when I put this into motion. Watch what happens. This hurricane will diminish very quickly as it moves inland. Then it's going to stop, turn around and come back again. That means the very heavy rains that are associated with these tropical storms will pound the coastline with three to six inches of rain, but the mountains of Oaxaca and also in Chiapas will see anywhere from 10 to 15 inches of rain and flash floods and severe flooding are a possibility over the next 48 hours. So this will not have an impact on us, but it certainly will have an impact on those areas over parts of Mexico. We have some strong to severe thunderstorms, as you can see right here across parts of Texas and north. Look at this is a mesoscale convective complex that is moving through Amarillo and also Texas. It's a storm and a half and three quarters producing hail and all those. We've had some thunderstorms along the cold front that went through and brought the winds to Salt Lake City and Provo, and that cold front continues to uh, produce lightning strikes and some thunderstorms. Let's get in a little bit closer. Duchesne and up towards Altamont, we are getting rain to the ground. At one point, we had 77 lightning strikes in a 7 to 15 minute period, and with this storm, there's storms that went through Rock Springs, which have now diminished. We had over 500 lightning strikes this afternoon and this evening. It's quiet along the Wasatch Front, so that's the good news. So let's get to some uh, forecasting. First of all, the mountain cam showing that we are overcast. Overcast because of these clouds here, but they will be moving away. Notice the clearing behind, so we'll have a beautiful day tomorrow here in the north. Temperatures right now in the 70s in Salt Lake City, 74 in Vernal. Those northerly winds will continue until midnight and then slowly diminish by the morning hours. When the sun comes up, we should see the winds lighten up considerable. All right, high temperatures across the state today. They well, they were they were kind of on the warm side. Not unusual. 87 in Salt Lake City, 81 in Logan and Evanston, 97 St. George. Not too bad. Here's the big satellite picture showing severe thunder. These are each little mesoscale convective complexes. Those are storms that actually feed on themselves and they actually increase in the overnight hours because the air gets colder above the ground. And there's going to be a lot of this activity east of the Continental Divide, but not here so much. We're going to be very dry over the next probably two weeks. 53 overnight in Vernal, those thunderstorms diminishing possibly continuing in the overnight hours due to the fact that the front lies on a line from about Delta up towards Rock Springs. So they may continue a little bit overnight, but it'll be gone tomorrow. The winds will be gone. 85, a near perfect day in Salt Lake City, 100 in St. George. Pick your spot. 101 for Father's Day. Not too hot for St. George on Father's Day. And then we'll cool it down a bit on Thursday to 97. A lot of sunshine all week long in the northern part of the state. 85 tomorrow, good day, get out work in the yard. Okay, I'm not telling you to mow the lawn or do the garden or whatever, I'm not saying you have to do that, but if you want to, it's a good day. Can, can you say that part about you don't have to do it again? You do not have to do it, all right? I kind of that? think you're asking us to come and do your lawn. No. Is what no, oh, no, no, I, I love doing yard work, oh, okay. I love mowing my lawn. And did you see that 97 <laughs> yes. on Father's Day? Thank you very but much, Dan. 70s by the middle of next week. All right, very good, thanks so much. You're welcome. We'll be right back.